Marion here from Marion Black Online. In this video you're going to learn how to increase the upload file size imposed by All-in-One WP Migration plugin to whatever size you need to accommodate your website. Before we go any further I want to point out that it is legal to access and modify the source code of the free version of the plugin because like all plugins at WordPress.org it's licensed as open source. Chances are that you weren't aware of the import file restriction until you tried to import your website. They don't tell you when you're at the export state that the import file size is severely restricted. Do you think they should be upfront and tell you that you can expect to pay for the premium version when you try to restore your website and you've got no other options? Share your opinion in the comments below this video and while you're down there, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. If you've already got All-in-One WP Migration installed on your otherwise empty website, deactivate and delete it. The plugins developers are aware of the hack we're going to use. They've made changes to the source code of the latest version of the plugin. So the hack I'm going to show you won't work in the latest version of the plugin. But they can't make changes to the earlier versions of the plugin, so I'll show you how to find a legacy version. Go to WordPress.org and search plugins for all-in-one WP migration. Scroll down and click on Advanced View. Down the bottom of the page you'll find previous versions. Choose 6.77. That's the last known version to work with this hack. Download it and save it on your computer. If you can't find the file at wordpress.org then use the link in the description below this video. Now go to the plugin editor. Make sure that the plugin you're going to edit is all in one WP migration and click on constants PHP. Scroll down to line 284 which defines the maximum import file size. Change that 28 to 56 and update the file. Now when you go to All-in-One WP Migration Import, you'll see that the maximum upload file size is OMG. If that doesn't work for your website, then play with the numbers. Now you can import your backup file. Let me know in the comments below if this works for you or not. And remember to like the video and subscribe to my channel to get more awesome tips and tricks. Thanks for watching and click the link below to claim your free gift.